What's good, guys? We're back here with the Real Software Podcast. We finna get into this Charleston White and Fernandez two time situation once again. So hit that like button, come subscribe. It's the Real Software Podcast. We finna get into the video. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, he finna end up at the fire station and back up a white woman's car. Custom. <laughs> Y'all done fucked up. <laughs> Bitch ass. Yeah, I ain't like you no way from there two times. I ain't never like your bitch ass, nigga. I hate for a nigga to get out of jail and run a J. Prick. And he got your work working like a hoe. Yeah, yeah, keep you on the road, nigga, because he'll keep all your money. J. Prick, I tell him the motherfucking road you got to be because he'll keep all your money, nigga. Pimp C told you niggas that. Yeah, let me call this motherfucking child protective service. Yeah, they got the right nigga. Just right up my alley. And this feels good knowing that he's going to be put somewhere safe. And from around, man, what you, I'm calling it right now. Memphis Child Protective Services. I don't give a fuck about that baby and them niggas either. They threatened me. They threatened my town. I'm, I'm not making no anonymous call. I'm leaving my name. I want everybody to know I call. Don't scare me, nigga. You can't unscare me, you little killing motherfucker. These the motherfuckers that's killing. Them nine and ten year olds. They the more slaughtering everybody. I'm calling Tennessee Child Protective Services right now. Got me fucked up, nigga. Threatening my motherfucking life. Talking about on my mama head and your grandmama head. Oh, I'm terrified of my motherfucking Hello. life. You have reached the Department of Children's Services. Our office hours are Monday through Friday. Oh, until I need the 1 800 number. We are closed for all state holidays. I need the 1 800 number. I'm, I'm afraid for my life. The party you are trying to reach, I'm you may press the star key for a directory. If you want to report child abuse or neglect, please call 1-877-237-00. What was that number again, y'all? 1-877-0 for an operator. Shit, I didn't get that number. I need uh, it. was one. I need that number. His ass is going to go to CPS. I don't give a fuck. His mama won't get him. His daddy won't get him. Yeah, he, he ain't playing. I ain't playing. I'm dead serious. I'm for the well-being of children. So when I see kids in danger, I'm reporting it. Yeah, they, yeah, I play dirty. They don't talk to the police. I do. I talk to probation officers. I talk to everybody. The judge, nigga, the crime stoppers, uh, neighborhood watch leaders, everybody. I need that number again. It's one eight seven seven. What's that number? I call it again. Yeah, I ain't playing. I'm dead serious. That boy's in danger. Hello. You nothing else he got to be invested in. I'm for the make an example out of he think he bad, nigga. Friday. And them niggas around him think they bad. All of them go to jail. All of them go to, I ain't seen not one not go to jail. I'm putting all their asses in jail. Street ass, nigga. trying to reach, you may press the star key for a directory. If you want to report. To the death. I don't give a fuck where you came from, you know, how you came up. If you don't there, rob somebody, or you know. Picked up a gun, he will not fuck with you. Child abuse or neglect? Yes, ma'am, I do. Please call 1 877 237 004. Press 0 for an operator. I got it right here. No, man, I don't need operator. On payment, if you recently oh, made a payment. That phone off. Yeah, that, that motherfucking phone off. Grab this phone. Yeah, motherfucking niggas. Think I'm gonna scare me with all that goddamn threats. I, but one thing I love about the police, they know how to make arrests from these cyber units. These niggas jumping on here talking tough because they in their motherfucking feelings. I'm tough too because the police stand in front of me. 911. How may I help you? They've been threatening me. You have reached the Tennessee Child Abuse and Neglect Hotline. This call is being recorded. If this is a life threatening emergency, <coughs> hang up and dial 911. To make a report, press 1. If this is an anonymous call and you would like to make a report online, he finna go see there. Happy to get him some help, some anger management. Matter of fact, let me play the video for the for the. Thank you for calling. My name is Cornell. Would you like to make a report today? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I only have rapper names and street names, but I'm sure they're easy to find. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. I want to make a report of child neglect and child endangerment. Okay, so before we get into the 
to walk some terms. I do need to collect some basic information on everyone involved. Yes, ma'am. I just want to let you know that your identity has been referred in confidential by state law. Oh, no, no. I, I don't want mine to be confidential. I, mean, I want mine to be identified. I want them to know I did it because I work with children, and it's an obligation to report something when you think children are in danger. Okay. What's your name? Charleston White. H-A-R-L-E-S-T-O-N-C-H-I-T-G. Yes, ma'am. Just like Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. And how do you know the child? Oh, uh, I, I, I don't. I got a video that was sent to me uh, that was made by this child online uh, making threats. Uh, there's videos of this child in the clubs at night with, with convicts, thugs around drugs and guns. And the kid's name is Lil' King. He's a, King. He's a popular little rapper. So I have a, I have a video uh, that I can send that you guys really can pull up on YouTube uh, called Lil' King Goes In on Charleston White. So just some of the things that he was saying in his video with the adults around him and then the other videos that's surfacing online with him being in clubs uh, were, were, were almost every rap event that these guys have been at, they've had shootings. Okay, give me just a moment here. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Mr. White, are you familiar with our email notification process? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm not. Could you, could you explain it to me? So if you provide us an email address at the end of the report, we'll send you a link to the website, our website, where you can go to track your referral, and it'll let you know if the referral will be procured before you feel to be involved. Okay, yes, ma'am. All right, and what's that email address? You know, King did get on the internet, you know, really disrespect Charleston White. And you know what? Now that I think about it, he is only 10 years old. <laughs> but, you know, for the next two times, he has he probably has his own way of, you know, raising his kids, uh, you know, raising his little homies around him. But I kind of get where Charleston White's coming from. You know, he's only 10 years old. And, you know, you're doing things to treat him like a street guy. You know, he's not really supposed to be doing that shit. So let's go ahead and find that little King video, you know, he responded to Charleston White, you know, had a few things to say. So we're going to watch that video. You too. probably know Vistaprint for business cards, but yeah. did you know we also print that and that and that? Charleston. So this the video right here, you know, Lil' King gonna respond to Charleston White. Make sure you guys get the subscribers up, get them likes up, get them comments up. Let's go ahead and get this to the video. Y'all think this kid disrespectful or, you know, y'all think Charleston White out of line for calling CPS? Just let me know. Why you get caught, you get smacked, and we gonna strip you. And that's on your memory life. You getting scripted. I swear to God, you gonna get scripted, fool. I'm about molested. You gotta be gay. He can't get caught in Texas. You scripting him. It ain't no nothing to talk about you getting scripted off the real. I swear to God, you get scripted. Everybody. They ain't gonna be somewhere six feet under. Currently playing. Think this joke? Is this joke? Who am I? Who am I playing with me, fool? We catch that mind, fool. We gonna strip this. This oh my grandma head. Who? What happened? On the right, right hand in the Bible. What happened? Who am I? I got listed and connected. If we catch him in that, we gonna knock him out. I'm gonna come up there, bro. You it ain't no doing, head. no talking. He better have security. We're gonna beat this old ass. We're gonna beat that mind black and blue. Yeah, beat. It's over with. I'm through talking. You get caught, yeah, beat. I'm letting mean, you know that right now. Fool, that mind made a video talking about some. Oh, yes. I got blessed for all that. I catch it. So, I just want to get at the subject, you know, this kid, he's only 10 years old, you know, you can't really hate on a kid if you're charged the white, you know, if he's in the club getting buggy, you know, 
late at night. It should be on the weekends. I'm pretty sure you probably not out at the clubs, you know, during the weekdays. Finesse don't have them out, you know, during those bad times of night. But I do see where Charleston White's coming from. You know, you got to be a better role model when it comes to, you know, being around the youngsters, you know, just having the young generation around you. If you're going to be a role model, you know, do it all the way, you know. It, it's not really about what you rap about as an artist because nowadays that's just how people make their money. When you go home, you're supposed to be like, hey, this type of shit you're supposed to do, you know, you got to show respect, you know what I'm saying? Even if, you know, somebody say something you don't like, you know, you still got to stay in a child's place, you get what I'm saying? Let me handle it. I'm finessed two times. I got this shit. So, you know, I'm just really waiting on finesse two times, you know, response to, you know, Charleston White, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to say anything because, you know, Charleston White does have his way of trolling. But one thing I can say is that, you know, it's not going to be a good idea if you try to just run up on Charleston White. It's never going to be a good idea to just run up on Charleston White, you know, because he has all types of weapons, mace, guns, tasers. You never know what you're going to get with that guy. So, you know, be mindful, you know, be smart. Don't do anything dumb, you know. Kid, you're only 10 years old, you know, try to stay in that lane, you know what I'm saying? Like, because that's a, still a grown man, you know what I'm saying? You're saying you're going to strip this man, you know what I'm saying, but... Hey, don't leave nobody else to crash out just because, you know, y'all following up with a kid. You get what I'm saying? Don't follow up with a kid and then everybody crash out and be back in jail. You know what I'm saying? Because in some ways, Charleston White do be right most of the time. You guys just don't want to hear it. But he going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not. So, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Lil' King is too disrespectful or you think Charleston White went over the line by calling CPS on finesse two times? So hit that like button, comment, subscribe, guys. It's the Real Cause Our Foil Podcast. I'm out.